Welcome back to this episode of Bite Size Media Making with CME. I'm Cindy Candelario, your host here, Media Education Coordinator at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. And I'm super excited. This episode is going to be focused on layering. I'll teach you a bit about opacity, some blend modes, and how to add those to your timeline to create some beautiful visual effects. Let's get into it. So I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to shift your opacity and then some blend mode options that DaVinci offers as well. Okay, so we're going to open up DaVinci Resolve. We're going to place two videos into a new project. But for this video, we're going to place the videos not next to each other as you usually would. We're going to place these two videos one on top of the other in exactly the same placements. If they're different in length, that's totally okay. I'm going to sort of shift my length so that they start and end at the same time for the purpose of this video. And now we have these two videos that are on top of each other. But because of this layout, DaVinci is going to know that these videos are playing at the exact same time, not one after the other, but simultaneously. Now, when we start this, you'll see that you see the video on the higher track, the video that's on top, but you don't see the video underneath it. We know it's playing, but we just can't see it. So what we do here is shift the opacity and opacity by definition is the translucentness or transparency of something and when we go over to our inspector and we go down we'll see that our opacity is at a hundred percent and if we click both these videos the opacity is at a hundred for both what we want to do is make sure that we're on the video on the top track and then we're gonna bring that opacity down a little bit. If we bring it all the way down to zero, now all you see is the video underneath, but no sign or trace of this video here because we just removed all of its vibrancy, brought it down to zero opacity, you see nothing. But if we keep it at a solid 50%, now you're seeing both videos playing at the same exact time one on top of the other and one just a little more transparent than the other. So you can kind of see like straight through it to the second video while still being able to see the happenings of the video on top. This is a super cool trick if you're wanting to show a representation of symbolism or create a multi-movement edit of your clip. Opacity is a great, great tool for those pieces. Now a pro tip here is that under opacity, you'll also get this drop down menu full of blend options. Now, if you click on any of those blends, it'll sort of blend those videos together for you in an interesting, funky color mode, or it'll shift some of the highlights, some of the shadows. It just gives a new relational look to the videos depending on which blend mode you choose. But there are a bunch of options here that you can play around with. We hope this pro tip was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Bite Size Media Making with CME. We look forward to seeing you for the next episode. Thanks so much. Bye.